Hi, my name's Patty. Today we're going to review measuring the speed of sound using closed pipe resonance. As sound waves travel down the length of pipe and hit a barrier, they reflect back towards the sorus. The incident and reflective waves interact and form an interference pattern inside the pipe. The interference pattern creates a standing wave that can be used to determine the wavelength of the sound. We are now ready to start the pre-lab. Please have your lab handout, calculator, and pencil ready. If you have the frequency generating the sound and the wavelength, the speed of the sound can be determined by using the following universal wave equation. Use the estimated speed of sound of 340 meters per second to determine wavelength for each frequency starting with 288 Hz. Pause the video and complete the first prelab table. For each wavelength, Calculate the proximate length of column that would produce the first four resonant points. For the 288 Hz tuning fork, this means you should find the first resonant point at approximately 0 0.30 meters or 30 centimeters. Find the other three lengths using 3 quarter lambda, 5 quarter lambda, and 7 quarter lambda. Pause the video and complete the second prelab table and answer the pre-lab questions. Now that you've completed the pre-lab, let's begin the lab. To set up the closed pipe resonance experiment, we will need the following materials. A 1,000 milliliter graduated cylinder, two different lengths of one and a half inch plastic pipe, water, several tuning forks of varying frequencies, tuning fork hammer, a ruler or yardstick, and paper towels for spills. To start, measure the length of each pipe to determine which tuning fork will create resonance points that can be measured. In the prelab, you calculated approximate lengths of each resonant point using a value of 340 meters per second for the speed of sound. When you find the actual length, which will be close to your predicted value, you will be able to determine a more accurate value for the speed of sound based on your location. Use your pre-lab to predict the approximate lengths of where the resonance points will be heard. You will need a lab partner for this experiment. Add water to the graduated cylinder while the pipe is immersed as deep as possible. Add water to the apparatus until the level reaches the lip of the graduated cylinder. Start with the shortest air column. Use the hammer to strike the tuning fork. While the tuning fork is held over the end of the pipe, lift the pipe slowly so that the length of the air column gradually increases. Listen closely to the sounds that are heard. Move the pipe up and down slowly to find the length where the resonance is greatest. Continue striking the tuning fork as many times as necessary to find the loudest resonant sound. Measure and record the length of the air column that gives the greatest resonance. Be sure to measure from the surface of the water to the location of the tuning fork. To find the next resonant point, start at the length previously recorded and again slowly increase the length of the air column until the loudest sound is heard. Continue this process to find as many resonant points as the pipe lengths allow. The longer length of pipe may need to be used to find the next resonant points. Repeat this process using three other tuning forks of different frequencies. If you have any questions, please see your instructor or your lab assistant. Thanks for watching and happy experimenting.